this is not about you being fucking white. No one cares about you being white, all right? Like, you're, no one's mad at you for being white. Maybe some people are, but they're fucking retards. The problem is that we can't admit these hard truths. We can't admit that it doesn't matter if we directly were the cause of any of this shit. There's a mess on the ground, and we have to clean it the fuck up, period. Get your fucking ego out of the way. Stop getting defensive when somebody says, hey, you know what? White people historically have fucked us over because that is a goddamn fact. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. That shouldn't make you feel bad about being a white person. My dad is a piece of shit. It doesn't make me feel bad about being a dude or a, or a white dude or a dude with a beard or a fucking... I don't, who cares? What the fuck does what he did have to do with me? Right. I agree with you on that point. There's still a problem here that has to be fixed. We are s between 60 and 70% of the population white people are, depending on which, like, technically some Hispanics are considered white as well. I don't know why. I, I don't know how that works. Mixed. But, yeah. Mixed race. <laughs> um, and we're 78% of Congress. Sorry. I mean, it's on us to fix this shit. Sorry. I mean, it, it's on them, too, to, to, to help, you know, and do their part as well. And it, it's here's the problem. That I, f from my perspective, is that people on the right, conservatives and white people, cannot admit this stuff. And the white people who are on the side of these folks are full of shit. The people that claim to be on their side, like posting platitudes and like, oh, fucking thoughts and prayers, or, or people crying and hugging black people in the street. You're not doing shit, motherfucker. Go make some change in your own community. It's your job to police your people. Right. So when I see John Jones out there fucking smacking people around, mm -hmm. snatching fucking stuff out of their hands, like, hey, get the fuck out of here because George didn't want this. And I've seen a lot of it, by the way. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, that, that I, I've seen more and more videos pop up against, uh, you know, peaceful black protesters mm -hmm. trying to disarm what appears to be white Antifa. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. Uh, you know, they've got a backpack. You, it's the same people. They get a black backpack. Yeah. They get a black hoodie on. Um, in some form of mask, uh, and they look like they're some, uh, from some militia. Um, and there's also been a, a bunch of videos of, of them being circulated that are paying protesters. Well, people are showing up to protest sites. I've seen a bunch of black kids showing up to protest sites, and for some reason they show up and it's like there's a pallet of fucking bricks, bricks. Yeah. with no construction going on anywhere. There's a pallet of bricks there, and the black dudes are like, this is not us, just so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not yeah. saying that there aren't black people writing. There certainly are. There's a bunch of fucking black assholes out there, just like there's a bunch of white assholes out there. And therein lies the problem. No one's real willing to take responsibility, not only for the circumstance as it exists and their role in it. And when I say their role in it, I mean their role in making it better, not their role in causing it. Uh, and they're not willing to, to admit that the things they believe are wrong. Like if you're a liberal Democrat, for example, your party has systematically used the poverty of black people over the years to institute a welfare system that keeps them on the government tit and keeps them voting for you. You are fucking garbage people. I mean, you're worse. Republicans at least had the decency to ignore the problem and not make it worse. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you're Republicans, you're pieces of shit too, in my opinion, when it comes to this issue. Uh, but at least they had the, the common decency to fucking stay out of the way and at least pretend to be polite, even though you know they weren't really feeling polite about it. Uh, the Democratic Party has created this fucking culture that I don't even know how to explain it. It, it's, it, it is what it is. Like the, the idea that you're asking people who have been brainwashed with handouts from the government for 100 years now to all of a sudden step out of that mm -hmm. and rise above it without any assistance in which to do so, that's, that is fucking... You're, you're out of your fucking mind if you think that's going to work. What, what, what they think it does, though, is, hey, man, if, if, if us, the Democrats, and we're in, in power in government, and we're the ones cutting you guys' checks, you need to go out and vote for us because if you don't, those checks won't be there anymore. Yeah. And that's kind of how they've been running elections for <clears throat> years and years and years. Well, there's a word for that. It's called holding someone ransom. Mm -hmm. Holding them for ransom. Right? You're, I mean, that is... That, that's really evil in, in every sense of the word. Uh, and I don't understand why people can, can continue to do that. But it's, there's so much hypocrisy. And again, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a symptom of 
the culture we're in where people refuse to take responsibility for what they're actually doing. Like when Dave Chappelle was talking about the Me Too movement, he said the only way that this gets better is if everybody is allowed to come out and say what they did, mm -hmm. get it all out there and be like, hey, you know what? I was fucked up. People that like Louis C.K. did the right thing. He was in power. And uh, what's his nuts from uh, from uh, Rick and Morty as well? I can't remember his name. Uh, Dan <laughs> Harmon. Harmon, yeah. yeah. He's like, I didn't realize the authority and power I had over these people would affect their decisions on a day-to-day -day basis and make them choose differently. And I'm sure Louis C.K. was the same. Although he's a smart guy, he probably should have known. But um, either way, you have to allow people to... Uh, here we only have a couple of options. Either we kick these people out of out of our society completely, right? First offense, you're gone, right. out. Or people are allowed to fucking change and heal, and that's it, right? That's that's a normal way to do things, uh, but we don't allow that because <sighs> the left certainly doesn't want it. They don't want it. They don't want. Well, they need the votes. They don't want to lose thirteen percent of their votes, right? Essentially, well, actually, I, I guess it would be twenty six percent since it's. Half the population leans that way, and half of them are uh, most black people vote Democratic. Um, well, I mean, you take Joe Biden's comments, you know, two weeks ago, which now seem seem like a year ago mm -hmm. at this point. But you know, you ain't black if you're voting for for Trump. Who is Joe Biden to tell an entire race who they should vote for based on a person or a de or a, or a party? Uh, like a, I agree. A, a, a politics. I, I agree with that. I also agree that who are who am I to tell somebody how to protest, right? That's mm -hmm. been a systematically oppressed for hundreds of years. Who am I to fucking tell someone that they're not being oppressed, which is way worse, right? Right? Like, I get it, man. I get it. Your you your life is hard too. You're a fucking white fucking suburban landowner somewhere, a farmer, or just a blue collar worker, and your life is fucking hard. You work hard every single day. And hearing that somebody has it worse than you seems offensive. Like, right. you don't want to hear that. But you know what? It's fucking true, man. Because your hard work and effort and all that stuff isn't because of the color of your skin. And if for them, I don't give a fuck what you think about these issues. It is because of the color of their skin. Period. Period. Look at the fucking Department of Justice statistics on this. People who are fucking... Uh, Black people who are arrested for the same crime with the same background, first of all, they're arrested more than their white counterparts. Then when they are arrested, they're convicted more frequently and they receive longer sentences. The end. And this isn't a fucking white Republican issue. This is more of a white Democratic issue, to be frank. Uh, it started with Atwater back in the day, one of Nixon's guys. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> he gave that speech on what he called the Southern strategy, and it's how Nixon got elected and it's how Ronald Reagan got elected. The, the purpose of the whole situation is to avoid saying the N-word, but say hardworking American to mean white. And Hillary Clinton is the best example of using that language in the modern po political world, which yeah. is funny because she's also the one that pushed for the crime bill back in the day, calling all black teenagers super predators, right? Mm -hmm. So this is not a white Republican issue or any, any, by any stretch of the imagination. But, but you are the party that can do something because I believe, I have a, I have a wide range of beliefs both both fiscal and social with regard to foreign policy, all that stuff. I'm, I'm all over the map because I just follow what I think is right. I don't give a fuck about parties or any of that stuff. But <clears throat> I think that entrepreneurship and the conservative mindset, kind of what Thomas Jefferson had in mind, uh, less power in the central government, more freedom to do your business makes better business. I believe that. And I think that because you have that power as a conservative or Republican, whatever you want to call yourself, because you have the power of being right on that issue, you have the fucking responsibility to make sure everyone has the same opportunity to use that power that you do, period. Not everybody's going to be able to fucking do all the same stuff. Men are not created equally. That is not true. I, I know it's in the Constitution or the, the Declaration of Independence, but it's not true. We're all different, yeah. right? We all have different abilities. We're not created equally, but we should be seen equally under the law. We're not. So we have to be able to admit that as people who are pro-law enforcement, <coughs> pro-law and order, whatever you want to call it, you have to be able to admit that there's an imbalance in this system and that it is our duty to fix it. Just like people that follow Democrats have to admit that your party has used 
that fucking concept, that oppression to keep these people oppressed and make them not only keep them oppressed, but build a culture where they're going to stay per oppressed into perpetuity because there's no concept of upper mobility anymore there. It's just like, oh, we'll get that check and move on. Right. Right. Or w when there's a problem, we need the government to come help. Right. Not private industry. And this is not it's it's immoral. And black people have to be able to admit. <coughs> and I know a lot of my white friends are afraid to say this, but I don't give a fuck. Black people have to admit that your movement, your mission has been co-opted by cunts that are trying to take advantage of you and trying to make more division. Look, there's no, there's no money in good news. Yeah. There's not. There's money in division. Yeah. You got to take a side to make money. You got to write a book about how fucking liberal fucking cities are burning to the ground because of liberal politics. And maybe you're right. I don't know. But is now the time to fucking say it? What, are you tr what point are you trying to fucking make right now? If we're asking these people to be blunt and honest with, the, with us and themselves, about what's going on over there, we need to be blunt and honest with ourselves about what we're doing and what our role is in this whole situation. And we've so far refused to do it. 